Georgie, thanks a lot for that. It's Georgie Russell. Simon Hoban. BBC Radio Merseyside. Interested to know where you stand then on perhaps the enactment of legislation or measures that would perhaps restrict our freedoms a little bit and result in uh, perhaps the government knowing a little bit more about our emails or what we do on the internet as opposed to the benefit that would bring in uh, you know helping to police our streets uh, we like to think of ourselves as a liberal society don't we but perhaps we have to get a little more illiberal in order to protect the freedom of the majority of the population uh give us a call on that what are your thoughts 0151 709 9333 the texting is 81333 start with the word mercy now twitter oh so much in the news hasn't it been in the last couple of months footballers always uh, making bloopers on there getting into trouble and it's actually gone to the high court this morning a warning from the high court beware what you write on twitter it's ruled that a tweet sent by Sally Burkow, the wife of the common speaker, was libelous. The message referred to the Conservative politician Lord McAlpine two days after he was wrongly implicated in allegations of sex abuse. A future hearing will decide on damages. Sally Burkow said she was surprised and disappointed by the ruling but remained sorry for the distress she'd caused. And do you think before you tweet, if you do use the older Twitter machine there, let's speak to Dave Thackeray, social media expert from Southport and friend of the show. Hello, Dave. Simon, great show. Happy Friday. <laughs> Thank you, Dave, and I uh, hope your Friday's going well too. I mean, the, the Twitter world now, Dave, uh, surely everybody knows now to be careful. The message is clear, isn't it? Well, you'd say that. It's true. But, how I, you know, we don't have a code of conduct, Simon. This is the biggest problem. It's, I think now is the right time, and we've just seen that evidenced by the Burkow issue, that social networks need to get together to codify a framework of rules for any user to follow. Because, you know, right now it's an absolute free-for-all. Well, we all have to look for something to guide us. All we've got at the moment is common sense, and clearly that's not enough for some people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is the rule, you know, should, should you not just think to yourself, if I would not say this out loud or publish it in a newspaper, then I shouldn't put it on Twitter? Is that not a good rule of thumb? I think it probably is, but unfortunately Twitter is now our thoughts and yeah. Yeah, the keyboard is the new cranium. It's, it's true, because we live in this real-time world and people don't necessarily think before they type, mm. this is why we're in the situation we're in now. It, it's really interesting. The judge, the case that we're talking about, said that that was the last piece of the jigsaw. So all that was done by Sally was inferral. And unfortunately, that's enough these days. And we just have to be very, very conscious, very mindful. Uh, common sense, like I said, isn't enough, but you've got to be careful out there. You're absolutely right right simon you've got to think before you tweet but people use twitter like they do a chat in the pub yeah I, 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 there's a, f a funny story I, I remember back when i was working in newspapers we had a content editor who came in and he actually put a court report together about a, a guy who was caught with a quantity of drugs it actually turned out that it was a quantity of rugs he would have been all right saying that in the pub <laughs> got in a paper he got into a lot of trouble yeah. but this is magnified on Twitter, and we see this every day, and it's a miracle to me, Simon, that we're not seeing more cases like this come out, because there's mm -hmm. some horrendous things that go on, and unfortunately we don't have classes in common sense, so I think we've just got to be at the mercy of these social networks to tell us what to do. And I think people don't realise, if, you, if you're just starting on Twitter, that you actually can't control who follows you, uh, whereas on Facebook, you know, you get to f accept people's friend requests, don't you? Whereas on Twitter, any Tom, Dick or Harry can actually just follow you and, and see what you've written cautionary tale as well simon is it's very easy to think that what you say on facebook stays within your friends groups but privacy settings being dicey as they are on that social network it's very very easy for somebody to take what you say or share and share that to a mm -hmm. wider network so you're really not safe if you're going to be stupid you know say it to your mate and tell him not to mention it as we'd say in the press you know this is off the record you can't say stuff like that on social networks yeah. it, you can't just go shouting your mouth off i think uh, it's great i mean if you don't mind there's a there's an event in uh, liverpool coming up sam can i mention it yeah go ahead it's, it's uh, called the do's and don'ts of using social media coming up friday june the 7th at hill dickinson which is a commercial law form it's, it's totally free on st paul's square and uh, people can sign up to that if they want to get a little bit of a taster of how to use social media for business because i think the more people understand the power 
everybody's a publisher, the better, and this is going to be a safer world for us all, and hopefully less libel cases will, will ensue. And the other thing I always find, Dave, is uh, stay away from the keyboard after a few ales. That's a good <laughs> idea, too, isn't it? Especially eBay, Simon. Yeah, I've got That's to say it. that. But, uh, <laughs> if, if anybody wants any more social media advice, there is a, a new podcast out called Yakka, yakka.co.uk, and uh, people can check in on that, and that is all about understanding social media better. So people are rallying to the cause, Simon. I think we've just got to start thinking before we tweet. Dave, great to speak to you again, mate. Thanks for being on the programme. All the way. Dave Thackeray, social media expert. Drive time. BBC Radio Merseyside. Yeah, don't drink and type. 12 minutes past five, so uh, if you go to Liverpool's waterfront this morning... or you would.